Hallelujah. God bless you. Father, we'll thank you for the entrance of your word. May it bring light. This church belongs to you. Take over this period. Bless our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Yeshua, when we call you, you will answer. Yeshua, sit down, sit down. When we call you, you'll deliver. There's no name, no, no name greater than you. Belebana no sone, there's no name Ah, there's no name No name greater than you Hallelujah, break it down I'm super excited to be here today because coincidentally and also by the arrangement of God the young people are celebrating and in the spirit of pastor saying that we need to dismiss early, I'm so happy about it because I'll just share a thought line. Tomorrow I'll also be here. But I'll share a thought line. Some of the things that bother me as a young man that has grown in church. My dad was a pastor in Assemblies of God. I grew up in the parsonage. So I understand religion as it is. I understand Christianity to an extent. I told someone I, has been a, I have been a pastor all my life. You will not understand until you become a pastor's child. You know what it means to be called into ministry even before you were called. Now, there are a lot of them. I just want us to think. God bless you. God bless you. I want us to think. I want us to think. Especially if you're a young person. That's what our sister said. They said if you are 65, you are still lucky. You are still a young person. I don't know where she got the fact, but I like it. At least it makes you feel good. And make you feel young. Didn't you feel right when she said it? Yeah. That at least if you are 50, you are still young. You are 60 until you are 66. What is the difference between the young people that are making exploits? In fact, I always tell people the future is 30. When you talk about future, the future is 30. If you are born today, and you're one year old, 30 years from now you'll be 31. That means you must have become a, a full-fledged adult. If you are 10 today, 30 years from now you are 40. If you are 30 today, 30 years from now you are 60. You are in the evening time of your life. So, wherever you are in this equation, whether you are in your 60s, you are in your 70s, you are in your 40s, you are in your 30s, you are in your 10, you are in your 15, you are in your 20. What is it that makes for someone at the tail end of your life? When you have come to the end of your life, to look at and say, wow, I lived a life that I won't regret. I lived a life that people can look at and say, this one is successful. Is it just living and moving and taking whatever life has to bring? What is the thing that I need to do for my life to receive drastic, obvious move? If I add 20 years to how old I am now, 20 years from now, in reality, what will my life look like? Especially on this road that I'm going to. Looking at the materials I'm gathering around me. 20 years from now, what will my life be? Have you ever asked yourself, 
what was the life of the people you see? Someone that is 75 years and the person is a security man and they are paying him 15,000 in an economy like this. Have you asked yourself, what was his life like when he was 20? Where did he miss it? What happened? When you lay hold of history, one of the good things about history is that when you lay hold of it, it is you are going to look back at the events that happened in the past and take actions now that will affect your tomorrow. And when that happens, people will look at you and say you are prophetic. It will appear as though you had things figured out, but you looked at the lives of other people. Have you ever envisaged yourself on your dying bed? Do you know you will die? Ah, do you know all the men that did oh, 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 yeah. That there will be a time when other people will sing oh, 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 and they will just sing. the much they can move is their head. It's not a prophecy, it's a reality. There is a time called the, the dying time. When you will lie on your dying bed, that is all, this is assuming all things being equal, that you reach there. I hope you know that no matter how you exit, God is faithful. Hello? How many of you know that there is no such thing as untimely death? Your death is only untimely when you did not finish your... See, when you are finished, you go. Would you say Jesus died on timely death? He said, I have finished. 33. 2,000 years later, we are still hearing his name. Ah, I know your grandfather. In our life, we have, in our family, we have longevity. My grandfather lived 98 years. We don't know him, sir. But he eventually died, though. Oh, man, we'll die. Have you envisaged your age? How old you are now? Plus 40. How old you are now? Plus 50. Have you asked yourself, what will be written on my tombstone? Tombstone, that is your tomb. What will be written there? Man of God, I don't, I don't want to go into this angle because if I go into this angle, you will even ask yourself whether they will come there and I, I write the man, importer and exporter of shoes. Holy Spirit, there is a lot going on in my head at the same time. You know, listen. Important aspect of shoes. The guy, the number one guy in Ochanja, the number one guy in main market. There is another aspect to it, sir. sir do you know that man in itself is timeless? How we even measure what is called success and failure is in the confines. Of eternity. <laughs> in eternity, there is there is eternity before time. There is time. Then there is eternity outside time. Let me explain. Time is an extract from eternity. So, before you came here, you were existing. After you are gone here, you will continue to exist. So, the measure of your success is calculated in the totality of the eternity. Yes. So, because there are people that in eternity, that are the number one importer and exporter, the person was doing everything, blah, 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 blah. Then, because we are judging by the person's 80 years here on earth. While after 80 years, the person has Another 1 million years, no. 2 million years, no. 3 million years, no. 1 billion years, continuity. That how far you will live in that one, 
How well you will live in that eternity is determined by how you engaged your time. Eight years. Or 90 years, the one you want to live. Add 50 years to how old you are now. The way you are working, are you sure that at that time you are 80, that something good will be written of you? That it will be said that this one touched the, 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 the core, this one touched people's life. So when you are trying to hold the young people down and you are trying to properly align them to what it means to be successful, they are distracted by a lot of things. A lot of things. My friend said, this person told me, they told me this. Do you know that a lot of a lot of young people are slaves to ideologies of people? Are slaves to even tradition. <laughs> uh, you know what tradition is? The slavery of dead men. Dead men. Few years ago, if you did this oh, 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 in church, ah, hey, hey, your life will be open. Oh, oh. Why? Because there is a man who was alive then, but now dead. Go and check it. Go back 30 years back. The archdeacon that was disturbing in your church is now dead. It was his ideology. That was probably, probably handed over to him by another man he met 30 years ago. That he, he did not even ask himself what was the foundation of that ideology. So we have young people that never question sources of ideologies. They just become enslaved to it. So that one is past. Joshua chapter 1 verse 2. Let me read Bible. So that I don't say I don't read Bible. Joshua chapter 1 verse 2. I'd like everybody to read. If you can read, I'd like everybody to read together. One to go. No, this is not the volume of voice of everybody. Everybody read together. One to go. Moses, my servant, is there. Therefore, arise. Go over this Jordan. And all these people unto the land that I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Now Moses, my servant, is there. Do you know who Moses is? Moses is the man that through his hand God wrought miracles, did all manner of things, all manner of strange things happening. Parted the Red Sea, turned, turned stick to serpent. Pharaoh saw raw miracle and pursued God's spear as they go. Water came out, and at the end of the day, the Bible says that was why when it was, God looked at him and said, Moses, oh yeah, come and go and die. I know there are revelations I've released from you, there are strange manifestations and all manner of deep things that has happened around. If I keep you here, Israel will hold on to that. He said, Come and go and die. The problem of the newness is always the previous revelation. The previous revelation. The people that received that previous revelation, we are rebels to a former revelation. How many of you know that any man that you have seen that is succeeding, that is outstanding, rebelled? I mean, the, the one attacking your rebellion, rebelled. No, if you didn't rebel, you couldn't have, you wouldn't be that because in every generation, that which is the instinct is the new. So, and for you to be that new, you have to rebel against the old. Look at what I'm saying. It's, it's painful in my mind whenever I encounter youth, especially the ones that call themselves as Christians, and they are not even living in the present. 
Can I shock you? The present in itself is already a problem. The present in itself has limitations. Jesus, the Bible said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. That is whatever you have seen or heard is already a limitation. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. So that is why iPhone 15 is out. I tell you that iPhone already has 16. Because when they write, when they bring out 15, they will tell you, these are the pitfalls. For, ed, for every discovery, I'm a scientist. When you make any discovery, you are going to write the limitations. To hand over to the next generation, you must say, I discovered this, this in board. I found out that it doesn't do this. It doesn't do this. It doesn't do this. It doesn't. So those limitations, even though we are in the present, is an opening. Those limitations opens up for the new. So the things that you see that you call difficulties, that are hardship, that are things that are not working, is an introduction to newness. Moses, my servant, is there. Now, therefore, arise young people. We are so loyal to the... The problem is that we are not even loyal to the now. My problem with church is that church is playing catch-up. Church is playing catch-up. We are not loyal to the now. For example, everybody is talking about AI. AI, church will not do that. You gather the young people, say, gather all of them, say, what do you know? Uh, how many of you understand what AI is? I don't know. Do you know what copywriting is? No. Do you know what uh, email marketing is? No. Do you know what the best, what, what is the best interest? He tells you, sir, I just opened uh, my Gmail. Gmail. Gmail that is not present to. Gmail is past. But the problem is that for you to even be able to lay hold. Look at, as we are dancing, I looked at this enormous young people. Do you know what it takes to take over a town? Twelve people is enough. Twelve outstanding people in their field. Number one fashion designer in town. Number one musician in town. Number one real estate person in town. Number one tech guy in town. Number one. Do you know? Do you know? How, it's just like, for example, you, you when you give birth to your children now, you are talking about doctor and nurse. I'm sorry for you. You know, because you are living in the past. The, past, the thing left you, you didn't know. The problem is that you, you, the doctor your father told you you wanted to be that you didn't be. You are forcing it on the child. When somebody starts a tech, when people, when people do startups, tech startups, that when they want to sell, they sell, somebody is selling one tech startup that he just managed for one year, he's selling it like uh, uh, $3 million. Go okay, and check what it is. How much they want to pay doctor? Doctors are broke. Before doctor, we make money and make one million dollars. It's just like the way everybody is running to to UK to go and do nothing and do, the, do everybody. If you have anybody that sincerely loves you that is there, ask the person, call the person, ask the person. If the person loves you and want to tell you the truth, people are suffering. Western imperialism. You have been caught up in another slave trade. They know that if they come with shackles now, you know go agree. So they give you another form of shackle. And, and your people have seen it as delivery, as, as I have gotten something. Pastor, Pastor Preby, it has happened. I've gotten my visa. The instruction from God from the beginning is say, be fruitful. Multiply, replenish, the earth, dominate. You didn't need visa. Visa was man-made. Visa is against the instruction of God. He said dominate the earth, but there is no visa. You can stay where you are.
pastor, the Lord has done it. What did he do? He gave you visa. Visa to do what? To go and study master. So now I need 12,000 pounds. Who will give it to you? You know? And to see you, to show you the limitless power of the human mind. All your life in your family, nobody had held 11,000 pounds together. But because you desperately need to go to UK, 11,000 pounds comes out. That 11,000 pounds that if you had even put in any startup or any property in Nigeria, yeah, you know where you would have gotten to. My servant is there. Do you know how much Joshua loved Moses? That they didn't want to let go. God did not even show them Moses' body. Because if God even showed them Moses' body, they will even keep Moses' body there and start worshipping him. He said, it's time to arise. Why is it that the young people in church, we come to church, we only see sales girls, sales girls, sales girls, sales girls. What is wrong with us? 15,000, 20,000, are you mad? In an economy like this? 20 years, I'm going to still meet you. They will add 5,000 after 20 years. How can we take the town? How, 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 how? How? You can dance all you want. You can pray in tongues all you want. Until you let go of the past. Can I announce to you, your parents are wrong. Your parents don't know enough. If they know enough, they would have helped you. If you know, if you know what is... Are we going to be here? Why are we living in face by face you? And I'm trying to go and get help. You are pushing me back. A man's enemy shall be first, those of his own household. No, it's normal in destiny to quarrel with your parents. When you want to, when you want to get deliverance, eh, the first people you quarrel with is your parents. I'm telling you, they, they don't like what I'm saying, but I'm telling you the secret. You must quarrel with them. Last, last year, my mother called me. He said, I thank God that he didn't listen to me. If not, what would have happened to our family? He said, before he said, God, forgive my ignorance. But why did she find out his ignorance? Because he started, she's seeing results. Look at the path line. Look at the patterns that your parents are laying for you and they're calling it wisdom. Look at the foolishness that are bound in it. And they are innocently fully ignorant. Sincerely ignorant about it. That church you are going to, are you going to see husband? Every time the discussion you and your mother is having is husband. You know that today is youth day. So I'm talking to the youth. Mothers and fathers, you are free to be angry. Let me talk. When I finish talking, tomorrow is general one for everybody. Abby. This one is for young people. He said, arise. Move over to Jordan. He said, arise. For the children of this world, they are wiser. Some of us, we've carried rules and placed all around. Who made the rules? Who made those rules? Somebody asked me one day, are you a certified coach? I said, the first person that started certifying people, who certified him? <laughs> who certified him? Who gave him the certificate? I 
That's why if nobody certified him, I come in the order of that guy. I don't need certification. Put you in confines of places and you cannot, we are so, you know, and the problem is that we don't know. That is why law is bad. The, the whole, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, everything enshrined around you is, you are so scared of making mistakes that you don't take steps. That's why I tell people, your parents love you and the love of your parents is so much that you can't succeed with that love. If you allow, some of you here, if you allow your mother, she will still cross your road. Nah, nah, nah. You are 30 years old, they're calling you nah. Now, how can you even be 25 and your parents are determining where you worship? I, my father is a man of God. I looked at him one day, I said, Sir, you left Catholic to enter assemblies. They were persecuting you. I said, Sir, you are persecuting me now. He closes my I said, this is my own persecution. And, and uh, I am willing to follow it. That's it. So that I will give my children my own testimony the way you are giving me your own. The people, see, the world does not need, the problem is that we are so coordinated, so worried about what people are thinking, church people. And that's why there is so hypocrisy, the deceit, the way we just mix so many things and it's not even helping you. Do I look at me? Do I, do I look like somebody that, that cares about what you think? Somebody wanted to drag me online. The person dragged me, dragged me, so they begin crying. Say, come and comment now. Why are you not responding to this? Pastor Francis, come and go, who are you? Are you mad? You tell me what to do? You don't, they don't born you. I'm a free born. Do you know what that means? Free born. Free born. So you don't determine what happens to me. I can respect you, but I'm a free born. So don't be so loyal to the past. You are not in the you are not in present, you are in the past participle. Look at what we are talking. Look at what look at the discussion. Look at the discussion. Look at discussion. Are you a young person? Somebody needs to tell you that to, able, to be able to erect a duplex, a duplex that you should be able to at least keep 100 million naira, depending on the place. If you buy land, good land, then you build at least 70 million. 30,000 naira they are paying you. When? Let's do the calculation like children of God that knows mass. Are you not holding on to failure? You are holding on to obvious failure. And hoping that God will come and break his own principles. <laughs> You're joking. You're joking. I tell you, my servant is dead. Arise. Young people, look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, arise. Uh, tell your neighbor, arise. See, you must sustain a rebellion. A rebellious spirit that resists everything you already know. 
What you already know is a limitation in it. The problem is that some of us already know what is wrong. Go. That's a, a father problem. We, the problem we have to say that if what, all you know is right, is a limitation. How much more the one that doesn't even know anything? We are so loyal to things that doesn't work. Keep doing it over and over and again. You see, this is not working. When people don't understand new things, when they don't understand new ideas, they will, they will call it a lie. Then when people in power don't understand it, they persecute it. Yeah. What is that thing they are doing there? What is that thing they are doing in that hospital? What is that thing they are doing there? That meeting that they gather them, they, in church they'll be teaching people uh, uh, entrepreneur, they'll be teaching people business, they'll be teaching people even uh, listen to me, when we go to the camp, we pray, we stay there five days, ten, oh, I remember when, ah, when church was church, ah, mm, oh, and you are, you are caught in the lie. I've never done 40 days fasting in my life. I'm not trying it. <laughs> Sir, the highest I've done is two days. Who am I struggling with? Who am I struggling with? No, no, pray. Yeah. If you don't pray 72 hours, you have not started. You have you don't have sense. You don't have sense. That person saying that thing, does he pray it? Does the person pray it? Why is he ministering everywhere? Every five, five minutes, you're everywhere. And you say you are praying 48 hours. If you're not, ah, we just stay in one place. We and, and that is what you want. You want you want the 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 matrix of religion. You are caught in the matrix, in the lie, in the deceit. Listen to me. Your parents, your mother can afford that. Your mother has, is facing the grave. She doesn't have strength to do anything. She missed her own time. He missed his own time. You that now is your own time. Obu uke bere Look at the rate and the speed young people are moving into, into, into diabolism and they're calling it tradition. Uh -huh. Traditional this thing. You're calling it tradition. In a moment, hey, I pass, I don't know, oh, just that. Listen to me. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Do you know that common Western, Western civilization didn't need power? To beat Amadio. They just use gunpowder. Amadio has Sango. Or everyone, both the God of the West, God of the North, God of the East. Beat all of them together. I mean, when power, when, when your traditional Amadio has in church now, we, when we are praying, we don't know whether to say amen or you say. People, somebody coming to church. You don't know if it's his say. No, ima, oh, traditional, ima, ndi ima, ndi na na na, you know, ndi ocha biya gori, ima, ni yea kwa iji fun. Your grandparents were daft. The ancestors, I was in a village meeting, they were making noise one day. I called them, I said, listen, tomorrow now, people will say you are ancestors. Do you have sense? Then you say we will now be we, the people, our children will be consulting you people as foolish as you are now. Because if you are an ancestor, if you are a fool while alive, in the spirit, if there's anything, you'll be a fool. Your ancestors didn't use phones, sir. If they come out here, they, I can't consult them, they are daft. They want them with gunpowder, sir. Gave them mirror and they sold their children. How wise were they? 
You say, I'm consulting them. Like this I am, I'm wiser than the, your ancestors. It's better you consult me than you are seeing. Hey, I know you don't like it. Because here he Are you a young man? We are going back to your root. Where is your root? If you want to go back to your root, your root was Your root was naked. Toto Ogodo. Oh, okay, Ogodo. Can I be here? Sir, we are talking about future. Traditional is taking young people. This one is no longer past participle. What is the right word now? Eh? It's taking you back. See your grandfather. That your grandfather is and is he mad? That your is the, that grandfather does he have sense? How can he be angry? He lived his own life. I mean, when your traditional power was raw power, it was won by gunpowder. How much more now there is interballistic design? <laughs> and kings shall come to the brightness of your rising. Arise! Young people, majority of us, we need to take a halt, full stop. That is, that is, stop we, this place we are going. Because the problem is that you are continuously moving, hoping that things, that while you are moving towards Asaba, that you get to Enugu. And as we are going to see with time, Oluwa will do it. God go do, he go show me love. One day, one day, he go just one day. God go run and for me. He go, no, just they go first. But you are heading to Lagos. Why your destination is it? first thing we need to go the full stop. Bam. Do a reflection. This advice my mother is giving me. If I follow it, will I make it? Mommy, first, did you make it? How many of you know that in matter of destiny there is no emotions? You don't, there's no, it's no emotion. There is no emotion. You don't mix it. If you mix it with emotions, you have problems. Mix it with emotions, you have problems. Now, my servant Moses is dead. Do you know many dead things that we are holding on to? Many dead ideologies that we are holding on to. Some of us are even training our children with dead people's ideologies. Training. There is a time we are in. Look at that's why I tell people COVID, God brought COVID. COVID became a leveler. Do you know what came? COVID came to slow down everybody so that people. That are far behind, we do catch up with the involvement of technology. It's just, like, it's just for example, we are in church. Yes, they are saying, uh, Father, we want to give offering, please. Can you show the church account number? You are angry. He be the way. He can ways we will. Because, because the church should have POS. You swipe your card, <laughs> have like five, all the banks. The fact that you are angry doesn't mean change won't come and change you. Hey. How many of you know that your God doesn't work by your conviction? Some people can be so convinced and be so wrong. Have you not been convinced about something and you are wrong? Conviction doesn't mean you are right. So when we are talking that you keep face like, what are they? What is this one saying? Are you sure? No, I know what I'm. You can be sincerely wrong. Change has come. All of us, we saw it here. The government kept us at home during COVID. It was only churches like this. There were churches that, there were churches, not a 
because they don't even have camera. It's that time they started calling, Pastor, how much? Because they were not preparing for the future. If there is no COVID, do you think there will be, that, that Jerry Ezra will be celebrated the way he is? No. COVID gave birth. Do you know without COVID, Zoom would have gone. If you're a millennial here, you will remember Kodak. Kodak is number one when you talk about camera films. Nokia. When they asked the CEO of Nokia, he said, we did, we did not do anything wrong. He said, we didn't do anything wrong. Change was just too fast for us. They couldn't catch up. Please, go and comment and like church face. Sir, I don't have Android. You, something is wrong with you if you don't have Android. You have a problem. Do you understand what? You, you see, I'm not talking to these people. Though. You are wearing white. The people here. You are not, you don't have Android phone. You are the problem of this church. Because you are making it look as though somebody should buy Android phone and give. It's like saying, Pastor, I don't want to be successful. Because <coughs> let me tell you, in life now, what we have now is not, is not I am a fashion designer that uses phone. No. You are a tech company that is running fashion. In our ministry, we count our we have five expressions. We have four expressions, and we have the e church. It is a, it is an expression. It is a church on its own. So we have a tech company doing church. A tech, because tech is... Now, if you look at the prophecies in Revelation and the manifestations of Antichrist. Was it in this church that I, I said that, that Jesus is not coming that year? I don't know if it's this church. There was a place I went to. Pray. I told them, say, Jesus can't come this year. Religious people there were angry. But... It's not prophecy. It's knowledge. There are certain things that will be on ground for Jesus, for the rapture to take place. And those things are on, that are on ground is what is fast moving. It is the fulfillment of prophecy. The Bible said that the Antichrist will appear and all eyes will see him. It, 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 you, 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 you've not even started using Android. Come on, in your house now. You have you have your doors that are your face. You when you come, you look at it. It opens. You put your keys and enter. There are many forms of access codes now, and all those things. The, the fact that you're ignorant doesn't mean the world will not change. They will just leave you behind. For Christ's sake, how can you be wearing a good hair and you don't have a good phone? But this thing I'm saying now is in is against what your mother told you. Because the problem of your mother is that you have a phone. Mothers won't like me today, but you, I want to help. I am called to my generation. I want to help them. I want to help them. And the only way is to tell them the truth. It's the only way is to tell them the truth. How you will know the... Go and look at this uh, generation alpha. These children now. That they are giving birth to. Go and if you have a three-year-old child, watch the way the child operates for me. Three years, two years, four years, five years. You will shock. Ah, I'm. Sh <laughs> you will shock. Church, this is reality, sir. That you are so stiff that you want you don't want to change. Does not change it. It doesn't change it. You say you have a shop, you are not all. How can you be? How can you be? How 
with many businesses everywhere. Everywhere. That if you step into the tech space, it's impossible for you to be broke. Yet yeah, church people are broke. Let's leave our mothers that yes, it's hard for them to maybe remove phone from silence. You that can press phone. If it's, oh, but, 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 you jump. But, 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 but. Learn some basic things. Where you can use just basic arbitrage, stay in the middle. Get something at a lower, get some, get value, which could be product, which could be service, which could be anything. Get it from, 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 from a place and resell it and stand in the middle. And you will make your money. How much are they paying you? They are paying me uh, uh, 35,000. They've added it 2,000. Now it's 37,000, sir. That means you never envisage living in a flat in Onisha. Ego never flat in Onisha now. Go and check it. 450. Oh, the man outside ever. Hey. I see 450. Oh, I have one room calling you. If you go to go to transit case, you go to this side. Eh? One million naira. One million something. So that means you do not from this your plan. And the worst is that you are even a brother. A sister when you can do a position. Nay position. Nay position. Nay position. Of brother mobile. I, I call woman, they say, What are you doing? He say he's teaching. They say, teacher, man. Do, as do men teach? Sorry, sir. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, said, I said, men teacher. In, 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 uh, in secondary school, nursery school, private school, teacher. See, he's teaching mass. <laughs> Sorry. If you're a teacher, I'm sorry, but change. See, sincerely, I will tell you, you won't make it to teaching. In Nigeria, what will you be? Please, I don't know any teacher here, so that I don't say it's you I'm talking to. I don't know. I'm just saying what. <laughs> Look at what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. No? You know that by the design of God, by the design, because when you want to check this, you go to the original intention. By the design of God, women are designed to be taken care of. I teach it to my... So you should... Li listen to me. Listen to me. I'm telling you the truth. Forget, forget all this feminism, independent. That's why there is no woman that can truly be independent. Yes, Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Go, go and find out that even no matter how much a woman makes, if you release, release that woman to start doing expenses of the family, she becomes aggressive no matter who she is. It is by design in her. Listen, listen. To, a man we do. A man. A, listen. Wait now. The way you are, mom, are you the one preaching? Listen. Pastor, this is what I want me to talk. Listen, listen. A man is designed. A man, by the way a man is designed, the more trouble a man is solving, the, the, the more he's feeling, the more, the more he's doing it, the more he doesn't. Just, oh, a little, a little, hey, a little, hey, honey, thank you for this thing. It's fine for him. There's one long test my wife sent me two days ago. Go like this. Do you understand? You immediately you do it. You are, immediately she said you are looking for another thing to do. What? Where is it? But a woman, no matter how rich she is, she is designed by nature to be taken care of. That's why you see men say, hey, "My, but when we married, we were we used to be in love. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Things changed. Don't allow those things to change. If they change, but." By every means, by prayer, consecration, fire, thunder, bounce back, sir. Whatever it will take you, bounce back. 
because it will never be the same. She might do it a little. She will do it, do it, do it. But they have what is called a threshold. There is a threshold of it that they can manage. When she do it, do it, do it. She will do it because she loves you. She will be doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. When she gets to a point, she turns the thing becomes aggression. What even brought me here? <laughs> I must give myself. I'm saying because of brother. And okay, okay, brother and Johnny, you see, that's what I'm saying. Life and everything, nature has put it on you. So you can't afford to be earning 20,000, 30,000 a month. If you want to give birth, there is possibility of a complication coming. Yes, you should think about it. 200,000 is your 10 month salary. Are you going to live in one room? Arise. They are telling you, you are still busy. What you are thinking? Pastor is holding brother from pursuing girl in church. You are 25 years here in the aging room. He said that you will send test to this sister. Send test to this sister. Brother, I have a problem with the brother that is doing Snapchat. Are you alright? Is something wrong with you? Do you have a problem? You have a problem. There are certain things you should you should be bothered about doing many things. You are, you are carrying phone. Brother, brother, brother. What will your wife do? <laughs> Reverend Ozo, for how many years I didn't have pomade? Pomade. What are you rubbing for me? I don't. Ibo Bible say, "Ote wori isi mumano." You understand? You, you are what? What you are doing? What a woman is meant to do? I be saying, "Kina wuni gana zo." After you have been a fine boy, the Bible say, "He who cannot take care of his family is worse than an infidel." The sense of being irresponsible scares me. It scares me. If I remember it, I wake. Stand up. The day my children will demand from me and I can't take, I can't, I can't bring it. My wife demand from me, I can't bring it. Ah! If you remember that, you won't be doing Snapchat. You will sit down and ask yourself a practical question. This place I am going to, where will he get me to? If I need to learn new skills, learn. Humble yourself. Go back and learn. You know that growing up, your problem, some of you, where you are growing up, na, 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 told you that you are special. You are not special. There is nothing special about you. Life will happen to you according to what you bring on the table. Sir, you are not special. It may really, it may really life are working on anyhow. So it gave us a false sense of entitlement that uh, I know uh, there is something special about me. I know it will happen one day. <laughs> the man that is currently a security officer at 75 was thinking the same thing. You need a drastic action. And it will come with a huge sacrifice. If I tell you that it's going to come, you say, no. If some of you, you might need you submitting your village pride. You know, there's a pride that comes with people from your village. You submit it. Under tutelage. And look at somebody and say, hey, do you know that church is one of the places that avails us the opportunity? Church is a leveler. Let me say that. Look at, in this church, we have somebody living in a flat. We have somebody living in a, a, a duplex. Somebody living in a bachelor. Somebody that has a state in the same church. But look at what happened. Because the Bible said, for so, how beautiful and, just one minute, how beautiful and 
pleasant is it when brethren dwell together in unity. Verse 6, he said, the last verse, he said, for dear the Lord commands his blessings. So, the leveling that is meant to bring a blessing to the church. When I come, this brother is into real estate. He's an importer. He's an order. Me, I'm living in Bacha. And God gives us the rare privilege of coming together in what spring. But when I look at him, what do I ask him? Transport money. Hey. After service, whenever you see somebody that is wearing suit, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please, excuse me. Excuse me. I stand wasting English. You think English, people should be sympathetic to you because you speak English. It's a problem that you speak English and you cannot take care of yourself. People shouldn't give to you. Es eh, please, excuse me, please. Um, by the special grace of God, sir. <laughs> Anywhere you see. Listen to me. If such a person is in church and you don't report to pastor, you a problem. You know why? Because those people are anti the ministry. Yes. They are bad dogs. Please, can you give transfer money? Please, please, please. And the person is asking. Please, please, please. So, the thing that was meant to be a leveler, which was meant to say, Sir, I am an imbacher. God has given me the privilege of being in the same men's fellowship with you. I will not play with this. So look at my life now. X-ray it. Why am I here? What do I need to do, even if not to come to your own level, to move forward? You, you have estates. You have buildings. You are doing well. You are a millionaire. Do you understand? Look at me where I am. There must be some things I got wrong. There must be some things I'm not doing well. Sir, I am ready to submit to you even if it is two years. Men told me, but let me move from here. Listen to me. Those men you see here, they will help you. If you are willing, it's not that Gideon's who you Gideon's, so that you come and start having the sense of entitlement. Is it because now, because I now came to, because what we are broke and poor. Shut up. Shut up. Bow down. Bend down. If not, you will die in perpetual poverty. Listen to me. There are, in this church, there are levels of people. I tell you under God, some level of people will be able to lift some other people. But the problem is, if the other people know on the floor, is a problem. They are too proud. Oh, my cousin. Oh, my cousin. My cousin again. You know, as I'm talking this thing, you are angry. You are the problem. <laughs> if, you are, if the thing is causing anger in you, be explaining yourself. Be checking it. Okay, can now what? Directly. Say my time is up. My servant is there. Now, therefore, arise. There are certain scriptures I want to do, but don't stop. Say, now, therefore, arise. Now, therefore, arise. This path I am going to. Do you know? I told I told some people say. Even, I know you are even claiming you work in the bank. <laughs> you should leave me alone. See, so yeah, listen to me. When you enter any office, the people there are the prophecy of your future. I was in my final year. I came out of the class in Ebony State University Church Hospital. Stood out like this. I was looking. Everybody was wearing lab coats. What, moving out with white everywhere. I looked at the car park. The cars there were only that time 
Mercedes, two thirty, two thirty. Everybody, you just hang your own on your. This I just look, 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 looked everywhere. Everybody was just, and still at the end of the month, everybody still struggling. They've not paid. Why have they not paid? Why they have the, the money at that time looked big to me, but everybody was still struggling. They have not paid. They've not paid. I said, I don't want this to know. This is not what I want. I know my parents sent me here to be what they couldn't be. I don't want this. Thing. You have to tell yourself the sincere truth. Is it prayer? We don't pray. We have prayed. Is it is it God's word? We don't hear. We are in this church. Your pa, in this town, your pastor is a prolific, sound teacher, respected by everybody except you, a thief. So, what do you want? Action! 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 Register for conference. You say, eh, lie, lie to lie, lie. If I register. What are they going to come and tell us? What, are they, what would they tell us that we have not heard? The, problem, the question is, what have you heard? Ah, if you know right, it will show now. Yeah. Wisdom is vindicated by its results. Its results. By its children. And what it gives up. Bow down your heads as we pray. Mm -hmm.